Yeah, great question, man. I said I'd expand on it. Hopefully I'll do it justice for you. Uh, see, as far as cross-sectional error goes, CSA, that won't really change at all. The only mechanism that's changing is our uh, harmonic element. But, but basically what I understand, like I say, all engines are boosted, absolute pressure, which is around 15, 14.7, so zero on a gauge, all the way up to, say, we'll do 45 absolute pressure, which is 30 on a gauge. So we're just changing the density. We've got three times more air molecules for the same amount of velocity. So now if we look at the velocity ramp uh, between zero, 15, and 30, um, all we're actually doing is changing the acceleration rate of the curve. The average numbers will stay the same because what we gain in the acceleration of the ramp, being a greater pressure differential, we lose in the deceleration of our peak velocity. So it slows it up much faster because the air is denser and our drag coefficient is increased because our boundary layer energy increases thickness and starts to choke the cylinder head. So it's pretty much a zero sum equation from there, but the, the main factor that's going to change it is our harmonic or shockwave tuning, uh, and that works out around about 250,000 for every atmosphere we add. So if we put 30 pound in, we need to be about a half inch shorter. Hopefully that